year long, air travelers have been enjoying bargain basement fares, 12 to 14 percent cheaper than last year. But that's about to end. The rates were reasonable. This was about a week ago, and then they went up a couple hundred dollars a few days later. So she got socked by new industry-wide fare hikes, along with a first-time ever $10 surcharge for flying on the busiest travel days, like the Saturday before Christmas. The airlines have to shore up their bottom lines in a slow period. Travel expert Rick Sini says carriers were caught off guard last holiday season by a recession-induced drop-off in demand, which forced them to hold fire sales to fill seats. Don't expect those deals this year. If you wait until after November 1st to buy your ticket, you're going to probably end up with some of the steepest prices you've ever paid for holiday travel. That's because the airlines dealt with the decline in travel by cutting flights to levels not seen since 1999. Come the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, there will be nearly 6,000 fewer seats on flights to Cincinnati than there were last year. That's a 23 percent drop. To Hartford, Connecticut, nearly 15 percent fewer seats. To Tampa, Florida, nearly 12 percent fewer. So if you're right now, right now planning on taking a flight on Wednesday night and coming back on Sunday for Thanksgiving or the same thing just before Christmas, those flights in the low fares have been either blocked out or already purchased. And with airlines planning to shed more seats next year, one new study predicts Americans will take 74 million fewer flights in 2010 than they did last year, a nearly 10 percent drop. We won't rebound to that till about uh, 2016. It's going to be a very, very slow air traffic rebound. As usual, the more flexibility you have, the more likely you are to get a deal. In fact, just avoiding that Wednesday before Thanksgiving could cut your fare in half, Katie. All right, good to know. Nancy Cordes in Arlington, Virginia. Thanks, Nancy.